Hello everyone, and this is Reggie with another video on Inside the Appliance Industry. And where am I? Well, we're at uh, Nicole Billings Turner State Farm Agency. Why? Because our event on the 23rd, this Saturday, um, one of the biggest events in appliance business history is taking place at Encompass Campus. Uh, and we're having everything covered for you. We have manufacturers there doing training. We have uh, uh, hands-on training schools that will be at the event. We have online training schools that's going to be at the event. And also we have financial advisors uh, and insurance agencies. So why? <laughs> Here's the why. Um, you guys, when I go on Facebook groups, I see you guys have a lot of questions. Uh, we kind of just give each other bad advice, the blind leading blind. So I figured, hey, let's get it directly from a certified insurance agent. How are you today? I'm good, thank good. you. And this is Nicole. Um, <laughs> just give us a little bit about your background, how'd you get, how'd you get started? Absolutely, I've been in insurance basically my whole life. I've got 26 years of experience. We do life, health, businesses, auto, homes, the whole gamut. Okay. So, I've done everything from marketing to training, recruiting agents. Wow. And I'm on my own agency for a few decades. So you're all in. A few decades. Well, yeah. Wow. You don't, you don't own enough for a few decades. I'll tell my 21-year-old anyway. son that. Wow. Nice. Okay. So, all right. Let's get right into it. All right. right let's do all it. Right. So I got some uh, impacting questions that we all have. Yes. All right. So some of the questions we see is liability. Yes. And we want to protect our business. You know, there are... You know, we all fear that you know, that lawsuit that might come, that you lose your business and your home and all this other stuff. Yes. Uh, and also, customers can be a little crazy. Yes. Uh, so, here are some of the questions, right? All right, here's a scenario. So, I'm in a, uh, uh, I'm in a home, mm -hmm. and I'm repairing a range oven. And customers, as we know, customers love being helpful. So, a customer helps me move their range. The range tips over and falls and breaks their foot. Mm -hmm. All right, so mind you, I'm in their home. It's their appliance. I did not ask them for their help, <laughs> but they gave it, and they hurt themselves. Th th I don't have nothing to do with that, right? That is incorrect. You are there doing the operation of your job. So it's called operations liability. Okay. Operations liability is the activity of the business. Wow. And so your activity was fixing the range, moving the range, whether they helped or not, if they were hurt in that process, you are liable. And your premise and operations under your CGL policy or under a contractor's policy would cover that exposure. Wow. Okay. Maybe you didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in their house. I know. They're, they're applying. I know. I did not ask them for their help. I know. And if, okay. So, yeah. so that's why <laughs> coverage is important. Coverage is important. Okay. Things that we don't think that we should be liable for, we are liable for. And wow. It, 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 it hurts to see someone not be properly covered and put everything at risk. Okay. Okay. Well, how about this? I'm in the customer's home mm -hmm. and they have... Uh, right it's there and I fall and hurt myself in it you know I fall and hurt, fall and hurt myself in their home who's 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 liable for that it depends okay how did you fall and hurt yourself uh I was walking to my truck mm -hmm. and this stair broke and I, I said twisted the ankle okay so it depends. Okay. If it was something that should have been repaired on the homeowner's part, okay. then the homeowner's policy could potentially have some liability. Okay. If you just tripped and fell, maybe over your own bag or you just hurt yourself, then your company's workers' compensation would cover you because you're doing work. Okay. You are in the business of working. So it really depends on the exact scenario. Okay, okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of details and so like there's a lot of different coverages available. A right? lot of different coverages okay. available. All right, so how, so on our event on Saturday, we're giving away a R600 Lock Green Kit. Yeah. Uh, this kit is a two thousand dollar value. It's amazing. So let's say our lucky winner has this Lock Green Kit on his truck, driving, say, hmm, I'm gonna go do something, get me a sandwich, <laughs> and they come out and their truck is being raided, right? Uh, I guess you're just out of luck, right? They stole all your tools. They stole my $2,000 lock ring kit. 
you know, you're just out of luck, right? It happens every day. Wow. You need something called an inland marine policy. It okay. will cover your tools from job site to job site, anywhere they are. And what a lot of contractors don't understand is depending on the type of policy you have, it may not cover your tools off site. It may oh. only cover it on your business location. So the Inland Marine takes care of that. It doesn't matter where you're, you're it could be stolen from a customer's house. If you're at a business and you're doing work, wow. you go off to lunch, you come back, your bag is gone. It will cover it there. It'll cover it in your vehicle. So Inland Marine covers you everywhere. Whereas some business policies will only cover you on site at your business location. Wow. So it's really important to make sure that you have the proper coverage in place. <laughs> um, there's just, there's no replacing all of that, all of the value of those tools. And it's a hard conversation to have with customers if they're not properly insured. So, so okay, I want to make sure you heard me right. Yes, okay? yes. Because we're not talking about, you know, a, a $1 screwdriver from Harbor Freight. <laughs> we're talking about a $2,000 lock. Okay, let me give you a scenario. Right. $2,000 lock ring kit. Yes. A $200 field piece. Uh, um, uh, geez, I'm the brain fire. I'm, the numbers are starting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a fill piece uh, voltmeter. Right. Uh, I got my three hundred dollar drill. Uh, all that gets stolen. Thousands of dollars is, is covered. Completely replaced. And wow. so what we do in a, in the marine is we specifically list each item. Okay. So if something happens to even just one item, we can replace it. The cool part about those in the marines is the deductibles can be so low they can even be zero. Wow. And the premium for them is significantly inexpensive. I mean, you're talking maybe $20, $30, maybe a month, um, maybe lower than that, depending on how many tools you're trying to insure. So wow. very inexpensive. Every contractor should have it. Right. And so definitely something to look into. Huh. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So guys, make sure you get a list. Yeah. List your, your, your uh, all of your, your, your free stuff you got from the event. Yeah, list all your tools, your your uh, especially do seal systems. A lot of very expensive equipment there. Absolutely, so that, that sounds important. Uh, all right, so last question. Uh, policies, right? So, yes. a lot of guys, a lot of guys and girls are out here, and they're the breadwinner of their homes. Right. Uh, God forbid something happens on a, a, a work site. Uh, you know, we all been there where you try to gather money together to bury people and all that. Mm -hmm. um, now, we all know about insurance. One thing I know, um, ignorantly coming into it, thinking like, well, if I have insurance and it's, you know, I got this policy for five or 10 years, if I don't use it, which is good, <laughs> yep. uh, is this money wasted? Right. Right. What, what do we do about that? So you're talking about term life insurance, okay. right? So term insurance is almost like renting a, a, an apartment. At the end of the lease, it's not your apartment. You get out, you move, <laughs> right? right, right, right. Um, that's term. But term gives you the most amount of coverage for the cheapest amount of premium. Term is good during your working years where you have a mortgage. You may have car notes. You may want to pay for your children's education. You need to have additional income should something happen to you today. So if you're in good health, you may be able to get a million dollar term policy from 50 to $80 a month, super inexpensive, depending on your age, where permanent insurance is the other side of that. Okay. Permanent insurance allows you to lock in a premium for the rest of your life. In addition to locking in that premium, right? So you're 80 years old and your premium will never increase. It stays the same for your entire life. In addition to that, you gain cash value in the policy. Hmm. So you have access to that cash value. Say something happens and your, you know, roof blew off, your deductible for your house is $5,000. You will probably have $5,000 sitting in your cash value life policy that you're able to borrow from. Wow. So you get both living and death benefits from a permanent policy. And then there's a middle ground. Okay. The middle ground is called a return of premium. It's a term policy that if you make it to the end of the term, which we all hope to do, <laughs> you get your money back. So, so, so you get a middle ground. You get a bonus for living. You get That's a awesome. bonus for living. <laughs> yeah. So term will be the cheapest. At the end of the term, you're still alive. You can re-up for another term, but there's there's no funds there. Yeah. Return a premium. You get your funds back at the end of the term. Permanent. That money is yours. The death benefit and life benefits are there available for your whole life. 
Wow. Yeah. This was very informative. Thank I appreciate you. you so much. Thank you. Uh, so bring your questions with you on Saturday, yes. April 23rd. Uh, Nicole and her agents will be there ready to field your questions of, about this stuff. It's very important uh, that we uh, implement this as, as part of your business, as part of your lifestyle. Uh, biggest questions for those watching this after that date. How do they reach you? Absolutely. So we are available. We have an office of 17 members and they are all bilingual. They are all licensed um, and just wonderful, knowledgeable people. So give us a call anytime. Our phone number is 770-448-5100. Or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at N as in Nancy, B as in boy, Turner.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Thanks for I'll having see us. you Saturday. Absolutely. We'll be there.